Hello friends and welcome back uh, to a new video. Today I'm going to show you how you can from this have this. It's very simple. If you're like me and you are in tight spaces and the wall behind is so close to you and there's no blur, um, there's no bokeh, there's, it's, it's very boring, your background looks boring, then know that DaVinci Resolve can solve this problem and I'm over the moon because I was struggling with this uh, the lighting and I was, I was doing lenses I was doing filters <laughs> I was doing a lot of things and now AI and DaVinci Resolve can solve this for me and it's just incredible let me show how it's done let's go into the computer now open DaVinci Resolve and make sure you have DaVinci Resolve 18.6 because in the previous ones this option is not available because we're going to use the depth map and we're going to use lens blur um, and because DaVinci Resolve is using neural engine for this and it's quite a powerful and incredible tool because what it's going to do is going to uh, find out which one is the foreground and which one is the background and is going to separate that so that's why you can put text in between you can color grade the foreground and leave the background untouched or vice versa it's absolutely incredible let's start with this clip over here uh right let's call the page you see this is my color grade you see it's my color grade i mean you you all basically you have to do the color grade first you know you can have as many nodes for, for color as as many as you want so uh, we need to create two nodes here one for the depth map and the second one for the lens blur for the effect we want to achieve so we're going to go with the first one we're going to go to add node add serial boom and then go again add node add serial so right so these will be our nodes uh, so the first node we need is right we need the depth map okay here we are just drag it on top of this one and you see what's going to happen pretty cool so you have this effect over here um, so DaVinci Resolve already analyzed the foreground and the background and it shows us the depth um, preview so the darker portion of uh, the screen is the things that are further away and the lighter are the things that are very very close it's incredible it's incredible how ai works nowadays you don't have to do anything no no, no keying no you know little points everywhere it's just just fantastic right so we'll leave it like this how it is and we're going to go to our third node over here and choose the effect that we need which is the lens blur so we're going to add the lens blur here and let's see, let's see what's happening um, everything is blurred we're going to go to our depth um, node over here and invert and when we invert this what's going to happening so nothing is happening because we shouldn't invert because it's already um, the job is done for us and you're going to see what's happening okay well what's happening nothing is happening because we should connect this blue dot over here to our node because this one now is on its own it's not connected to our lens blur and everything is just you know it's connected to the green one but not to the separated uh, fields or the foreground or the background you see now we need to invert what's happening boom like magic look at this it's absolutely fantastic now i mean we need to adjust it just a tiny bit so just uh Click on the adjust map levels. Uh, so you need to adjust the near limit, the far limit. So the far limit, let me adjust it a little bit. See how it goes. I mean, play around a little bit. So the far limit is fine. I think we need to adjust the near limit. Just going a bit, a bit less. Look, to be honest with you, I think, I think it's pretty, pretty cool. I go here. You see, the closer you are, the better job is going to do. But look at this. This is just phenomenal. Um, so if I see, put on, off, on, off. Quite incredible. Quite incredible because all this it's been made automatically. I don't need to do anything. It already shows. It already shows me which is the foreground and what's the background. Uh, basically, and another qu quick trick is that basically the job is done. You can adjust this uh, isolation. You can make it like a little better. You can, you can play with this. You see, maybe it's a little bit over top. I'm happy with the result now, to be honest with you. I don't need to 
do much more. But if you feel like you can have it better, then no problem, you can play with it. Um, one more trick I'm going to show you, just a little tip for you. So basically, if you want to color grade the background, let me show you how it's done. So go here, add node, add serial node, and then go here. And then we need to remove this arrow, put it here, and this blue one here, connect it back to the blue one. And now what we're going to have, now we can adjust only the background. We can color correct just the background. Look at that. Let me make it a little bit darker. All right, just a bit less saturation, maybe. Why not? Shadows, yeah. Let's put a bit less saturation there. Boom, and have a look now. If I disable the node, you see, it only the background changes. It, it's, it's, it's remarkable, really, really remarkable. Guys, thanks so much for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, you know, you know what to do. Thanks so much. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Take care and happy creation. Cheers. Bye-bye.